Welcome. My name is Mike Markowitz. I'm with the Ancient Numismatic Society of Washington. Let's jump ahead to the New Testament and this coin, which is known as the Tribute Penny, because of a passage in uh, the three Synoptic Gospels. In Matthew, the text is, show me the tribute money, and they brought unto him a penny. But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, why tempt ye me? Bring me a penny that I may see it. Show me a penny whose image and superscription hath it. They answered and said, Caesar's. What's going on here? Uh, they're trying to trap Jesus by asking him, is it lawful to pay taxes to the hated Roman occupiers? Because if he says, yes, it's OK to pay taxes to the Romans, he's a collaborator with the occupiers. And if he says, no, you shouldn't pay taxes to the Romans, then he's a traitor to the authorities. And what does he say? When the, the translators of the King James Bible in the early 17th century came to translate the Greek text right, into English, right, rather than using the, the actual word denarius, which would be unfamiliar to most of their readers, right, who are not Latin speakers. They used penny because penny in 1611 meant a small silver coin. <sighs> the denarius that was current at that time would have been the denarius of Tiberius. Tiberius, the adopted son of Augustus, Augustus was the adopted son of Julius Caesar. And on the obverse, the head side, it says, Tiberius Caesar, D.V. Augustus Filius, son of the divine Augustus, because after his death, Augustus was made a god by the Senate. Right? Fortunately, our Senate can't make people gods. Uh, and on the reverse, is it, uh, this is usually considered to be an image of Livia, the mother of Tiberius, a uh, very powerful and capable woman uh, who had engineered her son's succession to the imperial throne. And it says, Pontiff Maxim, Pontifex Maximus, high priest of the Roman state religion, one of the titles that most Roman emperors adopted uh, in the years of paganism. The problem is, these coins are not found in large numbers in uh, the land of Israel. They didn't really circulate very much, and it's much more likely that it was a different coin, right? Probably an old denarius of Augustus that was used to pay the troops, or a silver coin that was struck under Roman authority at Antioch. Um, but this is the one that's usually sold as the tribute penny mentioned in the Bible. What was a penny in 1611? What penny meant in 1611 was small silver coin. And I tracked down an example of a, uh, a penny of King James. Um, it wasn't until much later that the British penny became a large copper coin. These are actually fairly rare. They don't have a very good survival rate. If you like this video, we're sure you'll love these three videos. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Coin Week is the number one source online for all things numismatic. Visit www.coinweek.com to take your hobby to the next level.